Hey, dude. Do you know how Ham Solo got his last name? <laughs> God damn it. Um, yeah. I think um, there's been a lot of discussion about Solo being the the one of a string in these Star Wars movies that nobody Money. really wanted to happen and was not not really expecting to happen. No, and this was really a bomb. Yeah, the, uh, yeah. The box office. Yeah, yeah. In, in terms of Star Wars, yeah, oh. that's true. Because um, I don't know. I I actually don't know the final figures. I, I'm I'm guessing that it didn't actually really lose money, but it didn't make as much money as they. Because nowadays they have to make like double the money that they're. Yeah. That they cost because of the merchandising costs and so on. Yeah, I think one of the problems that I read about was that they basically had to film it twice because of the director change. So um, it wound up costing a lot more, like a lot, maybe. So it could actually, I think it might lose some money even, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Well, the franchise is strong. I have no. I, I have no. I, even even though um, the Last Jedi was such a controversial kind of Star Wars movie, I have. There's no question in my mind that the Episode Nine is mm. going to blow all the records away no. again. People are going to see it, even if it's if, if it's just complete shit. Yeah. People are going to see it. Um, with Solo, I think that there were. I think that there were good bits in it. I yeah, in terms in, in terms of us just just if you take it out of the whole Star Wars thing mm. and think of it like a, a, a an adventure movie. Yeah. Um I don't think that it was the worst I've seen this year even. No. I think. Um I don't I, I didn't think that Alden Ehrenreich uh Ehrenreich Ehrenreich I don't remember. Mm. But anyway, the guy who played Solo, mm. I, I don't think that he was necessarily the very best person to portray a young mm. Harrison Ford, but I don't know who would be. No. Um, he was, I think he was attempting the swagger a bit too much. Mm. thought we were in trouble there for a second, but it's fine. We're fine. Whereas with Harrison Ford, that all happens sort of naturally. No. He doesn't have to try to be cool. Mm. He's, he just is cool. Yeah. No. And with, with Alden, I just felt that he was just trying a tiny bit too much. Yeah. But I thought Chewbacca was really good. Yeah. Finland again. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Woody Harrelson was good. Mm. Uh, I think I thought for the little that he was on screen, I thought um, Paul Bettany was good. Yeah. I like Paul Bettany in almost anything he does. Mm. I like Paul Bettany. Um, Amelia Clark. Well, it was sort of um, not a great role. Not a great role at all. Yeah, that's true. Um, but I think it had those... I don't really know why it went... What, what was wrong with it? Because it had all those elements. It had the new worlds. It had the different sort of genius... Some sort of... Maybe not genius, but inventive set pieces mm. for the action sequences it had uh it had they were in space they were on different planets they had different races they had new robots they had they had the funny robot mm. they had the 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 dull robots they had the they had all kinds of they, they all, all the elements were there and it wasn't actually it wasn't like the film was really poorly made no I mean, the guy, I mean, it was Ron Howard who yeah. fi finally, I mean, Ron Howard, I don't really like Ron Howard in terms of him being such, just so, so boring mm. because he does everything like by the book. If he, if you want to make an all American sort of solid picture, first you call Steven Spielberg and if Spielberg's too expensive for you, you take Ron Howard mm. and he makes this really basically quite boring movie, but it works. Mm. It, yeah. it, you won't probably you may not remember the movie after a few years, but but it, it when you when you're looking at it, you're not like a good that's serviceable a serviceable meal. Yes, yeah. yes, and uh, and a good serviceable uh, kind of guy in in all respects. And yeah. he's made some really good movies as yeah, well, but 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 mostly he just does this basic American mm. tribe. Yeah. Um, but I don't think that Ron Howard was the problem in this movie either. No. 
I don't the really know. The problem was that there was nothing special about it. There was no, maybe yeah. no emotional investment to the events that were taking place. Yeah. So it was sort of this, to me it was surprisingly fun as a movie. I really didn't expect much from it and it ex exceeded those expectations. But um, apart from that, I mean, uh, yeah, it was simply just, uh, well, a perfectly serviceable movie experience. Yeah. Nothing more. Yeah. Nothing less. Yeah. I think that, uh, I think it, it did a good job of trying to explain the Kessel Run in, in in twenty parsecs thing, yeah. which was a, which was originally a complete sort of in terms of physics a complete faux pas in the mm. original script, and mm. I thought that they get, got away well with it because yeah. they actually reinvented the whole thing. I think it was really, really, really well done, um, and and it had those small things that I th thought that were really good and. and and I thought, um, I thought um, Childish Gambino as the as yeah. the as the young Lando was qu really I good. I heard a uh, story about you. I was wondering if it's true. Everything you've heard about me is true. Yeah. I, I would have actually liked to see more of him. True. In, yeah, me too. Uh, he did a he did a re really awesome job, I think, mm. uh, in portraying a young Billy Dee Williams. Yeah. Um, and I think what he had, that um, I think it's Alden, Elderoy, <laughs> whatever Alden, or Solo. <laughs> I think um, young Lando had this sort of natural swagger. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, with Billy Dee Williams. Yeah yeah, 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 that was, there was no, I mean, he was, obviously he was trying a bit, but it yeah. wasn't as obvious yeah. as it was with, uh, with Alden. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, and it invoked it, it invoked a certain amount of nerd rage as well from having I think it was at least there was Darth Maul in the in the oh, end, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then people you know the even more ner nerdy guys said that this is all explained in the comic books and and the, and the, and the books surrounding the whole thing and, and so on and so on and so on but the the timeline would have been jumbled if because we in the end of the phantom menace we expect darth maul to be dead mm. he should be dead no. if we just look at the movies but if you look at the comics and if you look at the books he actually survives the fall and he he's created into this kind of half whatever he is and half robot uh character he has his like like eight sort of uh spider legs and so on in i mean in the books and yeah. in, the, in the whole canon yeah. and they have all and and i think in the animated series as well mm. so there's a whole huge star wars world out there which i don't know anything mm. about but i i saw that this had there was interesting different levels of nerdum <laughs> that, that the nerds who only watch the books uh, uh, no who only watch the movies yeah. are outraged by something and then a, an even higher uber nerd comes and <laughs> explains Hear me that now. <laughs> you know is, nothing <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> explains the canon to them um but yeah it was um i mean considering the fact that it's probably again it costs more like the finished gdp put together yeah. it's not a great no great movie but but in terms of Again, in terms of it being a summer blockbuster, I actually enjoyed Solo more than I did Mission Impossible 6. Mm. So. Yeah. so if you want to see a Star Wars movie, that's sort of meh, mm. but, uh, but in, okay in terms of not pissing you off because it's badly made, I think Solo's... I, I don't think that it's it's something that you go away from thinking that there was, this was absolute shit mm. if you like Star Wars. If you don't like Star Wars, then don't bother, but who doesn't like Star Wars? Even a bit. <laughs>